Hello everyone, this is Rakhi Rupani, Communications Coordinator for BNI here in the UAE. Today on our DNA Spotlight, we have someone very special. She's Reem Alhuni. She's the member of Rising Phoenix chapter. She's the director consultant for the Falcon chapter. And she's been a director consultant in our DNA team for over eight years. So let's get talking to Reem and hear about her journey here in BNI. Hey Reem, how are you doing today? Hey Rocky, thank you so much for having me. I'm doing great. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. And before we start, get started with the interview, let me ask you to share with all our viewers out here. So tell us, what do you do and explain us about your journey with BNI? Well, firstly, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to share my story. I am basically obsessed with the world of video. I've been obsessed since I was a child. And I've been in the industry for 20 years. Uh, 10 years ago, I started my company, TI22 Films. Uh, it's an award-winning company. We produce videos for government, multinationals, broadcasters, all different types of organizations. And it's evolved so much during my BNI journey because I literally joined BNI about six months into my business. So my growth in BNI has sort of mirrored my growth in my business. Um, and yeah, we've had to pivot a lot because we're in an industry that's always changing. So I launched a second brand called Dubai On Demand in 2016, uh, where it's a video based branding community. We support smaller businesses, have consistent video content. Uh, a few years ago, I launched Fusion Digital, creating social media videos. And then this year we launched Dynamite, creating animated videos. So basically video, anything you need with a video is what we can do to help. And BNI has been a huge part, uh, played a huge part in my journey. That's amazing. Three companies and you have pivoted so much in the last so few years now. I'm really impressed with that. I must say that now you're a member for the last close to 10 years, I can see. Um, and we, we've seen the whole beginning of BNI, how it's been involved. Uh, how, how do you think about it? Like in terms of the time when you started and how it's become now the whole thing. I always remember my very, very first meeting and uh, I'm a member of Rising Phoenix. We used to meet at the Dubai Creek Club. Um, at the time when I joined, I believe there were 18 members. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Rising Phoenix is about 50 members at the moment. And actually we've been at around that size for a few years. So it's a very different experience when we're, you're you know, with a smaller chapter and when you witness that growth um, and how those relationships develop. So definitely seeing an increase in size within the chapter. But the one thing that really sticks in my head was that we were still doing the paper system. So uh, I remember being VP and everyone having to pass slips, their referral slips and, you know, manually entering them into the system. Uh, so, so yeah, just seeing BNI evolve uh, digitally, having systems go online, seeing an app, seeing a BNI University. I think there's been a lot over the last 10 years that's changed within BNI, which has just made our experience smoother. You've seen it all. I swear it's really been experience to see from paper to digital. So uh, another question for you right now is that uh, we all know that you are a director consultant as well. So uh, it's for the Falcon chapter. So tell us about the Falcon chapter. What makes it special and um, how is it, I mean, in terms of the, the amount of time that you've been a director consultant with them and about the journey as a director consultant as well? So I've been a BNI member for close to 10 years, but I've been a director consultant for close to eight years. Um, I actually used to support two uh, chapters, uh, Kaizen and High Flyers, uh, when I first started. And I moved to Falcons, I think it's been about four years now, maybe, maybe four, yeah, around four and a half years that I've been with Falcons. And one thing I've had in common with all the chapters I've supported is I've been fortunate to be with a group of very um, energetic and different personalities. And I think with Falcons in particular, uh, I believe we have 14 nationalities in the chapter, which means you are exposed to very different ways of thinking, very different ways of operating. 
Uh, also, for those who don't know, Falcons is actually the first chapter. So it comes with, with a bit of weight, with a bit of credibility. And we actually have a couple of members, one in particular who's been there for almost the full 14 years, which is uh, James Berry, but a lot of senior members in the chapter. So yourself, Rocky, which is great to have you in the group, but also many of you know, obviously, Wendy Shaw, who's a master trainer, um, a lot of very senior members, Yolanda. So it's great to be with a group that is experienced, that is multicultural, and that has a lot of energy. That's great. That's amazing, Reem. Um, so as a DC, tell, tell us about what have your learnings been from the past and how do you plan to incorporate this going in the new term and going forward? Well, I've definitely learned a lot as a DC, primarily on how to work with people and implement through people. Um, and it's all personality driven is the one thing I've learned. Um, you need to uh, work with work with the team and not um, instruct or direct. And that's something I've, I've learned very early on that, uh, you know, when you're working to support a chapter, it needs to be in the best interest of what they want to achieve. Um, and it's, it's, the key thing is to listen to the chapter. So there's no point in you coming in saying, we need to grow, we need to invite when actually the members are feeling a little differently, they may need different level of support. Or, you know, when you're seeing that numbers are not where you need them to be, maybe there's a reason that that's happening. So I would say the key thing that I've learned is how to listen, how to support more, um, and actually let them take the lead. I think when I started, I was very involved and, uh, and now I've kind of learned that to just take a step back and, uh, you know, they'll call you when they need you. And that's what you're meant to be as a director consultant. You're meant to be a support and not really taking over, which I, I I know it's very easy to do because you're passionate about it and you want to see the, the group uh, grow. Um, so that's the key thing. Learn to support, learn to listen and follow what they need as a chapter. Those are some great tips out there, Reem. I mean, it's really uh, great to see how the, how the chapter has been coming along and to see how dynamic uh, we are in terms of all our different uh, nationalities. It's, it's great to see that uh, we have been there for such a long time. Um, and let's let's get on to the next question about uh, 2020. We all know that it's been an interesting time for all of us in terms of the whole experience. And with us going from the in-person meeting to the whole online meetings. So how has the whole experience been for you? And what have any challenges been there? And how did you overcome those challenges? I think I'll start talking with my DC hat on. And I think, um, you know, BNI, as many people know, was one of the first uh, organizations to really pivot uh, to Zoom and online meetings very quickly. So I think the members um, had to jump on board with that, with that change. But I was incredibly fortunate with Falcons because I had Wendy as president, uh, Yolanda as vice president, and Arslan as ST. So a very, very strong team um, who just jumped at the challenge. So I think, you know, with that, it, it just paved the way for a very smooth journey and people people followed when they can see credible members and strong members take the lead. So um, the one thing I do wanna say is I think we all had to be more forgiving and um, everyone was having a very challenging time, which meant that it wasn't so much about um, their performance in the chapter and more about how we can support them in their businesses. And I saw that really come through with Falcons, um, you know, during 2020. Um, that was kind of my experience as a DC. Um, but the one thing that really triggered for me personally is that the growth in video content um, became very obvious. Obviously, we're all on Zoom uh, and everyone wanted to learn. So it actually resulted in another pivot for me where I launched our DIY Video Academy. And I started teaching a lot of courses and doing a lot of webinars. And that's helped me grow uh, you know, in that space and attract more, more BNI members as well, because they suddenly realized the importance for them to be out there to attract, uh, to attract new clients and new customers and new opportunities. And the very fascinating thing for me as a business, which you asked what my challenges were, is that a lot of my larger clients um, didn't want to film. So, you know, I've been working with government entities, large corporates, and for them, video suddenly became the lowest priority. So I had a lot of clients just pause, but interestingly, it was the smaller businesses and the BNI members 
who continue to support because they realize that video was one of the best ways to get their message out and be seen, uh, which is why we saw a growth in Dubai On Demand, which is our video branding community and our memberships, um, mainly because it really supports uh, smaller business, uh, businesses get out there and with the, the courses in the DIY Video Academy. So that was fascinating. What was a challenge turned into an opportunity uh, through the support of BNI. And I totally vouch for that because I've, I've been to one of your courses as well and I've totally had so many aha moments as well. Uh, we all know very well that digital space is so important and video is playing a very important role. And with BNI members taking it seriously and also having all our interviews online, uh, I, I'm sure that you have some great news to share with the, the BNI partnership as well. I do. Thank you for asking, Rocky. Yes, we are officially the BNI video partners uh, as of March 2021. Um, and really, our goal here is to ensure that our members are able to gain the skills and put themselves out there in the video space. So you're going to be seeing a lot more video from us supporting BNI members tell their stories. Um, and also, so, you know, you'll be seeing a few changes within BNI where perhaps more video content will be going out there. And primarily because people are consuming more video than anything else. Um, and if you think about it, even within your own businesses, if you share an article or you share a video, the majority of people are going to watch the video. So yeah. I'm really excited that we're starting this partnership and and we're also going to be inviting new BNI members onto our video drive through, um, which a lot of members have experienced. But for those of you who don't know, it's a 60 minute experience where you literally will walk out with a 60 second video. Um, and it's been very popular. It's supported a lot of members. So it's great that this is now going to be part of the BNI journey as well. And I'm totally excited about that. It's going to be amazing for all the members and we're going to have the privilege of having you on board with us in BNI. Uh, before we let you go, Reem, uh, just uh, any piece of advice that you'd like to give to any members who are considering taking on new roles that we're going into a new term as well, or for also any members who are considering to take that step to, to be in the DNA level with us. So I think as with anything in BNI, you get what you put in. So whether it's on a, a BNI chapter level and taking a role or whether it's on the DNA level, I think the more energy and effort you put in, the more results you will see. Um, so definitely I advise everyone to take up a role. I'm someone who's experienced, I, I think, almost all the roles. Um, and each you learn something different from each one, but only when you put all of your energy in. So you're not going to get the results if you just kind of show up once a week and, and hope it works. Um, so Similarly with the DNA level, um, you know, I've been doing it for eight years and I've, I've also had my ups and downs. And I think, you know, it's when you're truly engaging with your chapter, um, that's when you see results. There was one point in time where I, you know, I, I even close now, but um, where I really felt I developed those deep relationships with the chapter I was supporting. Um, and it was almost like having a second chapter. I felt like I was a member in two chapters. Um, and then you start to see the results personally as well, you know, whether it's support, whether it's business. Um, but honestly, just look at it as an opportunity, as a challenge, uh, and just jump in and get the most out of it because it'll be worth it. That's an amazing piece of advice. You continue inspiring everyone around me, including myself. And thank you so much for being a part of the uh, interview today with us. And with that being said, thank you so much and have a great uh, day. And thank you so much, Reem, for being with us today. Thank you so much, Rocky. I truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate the role that BNI has played in my life, in my business. Um, it's I consider myself a member for life, uh, and I'm here to support anyone out there if they need any help, any questions, whether it's BNI related, video related. Please feel free to reach out to me, um, and I hope to hear from you. Thanks again, Rocky. Thank you so much, Rocky.